A key for any cable cutter is a Netflix subscription, though in an effort to play nice with the cable industry, CEO Reed Hastings had this to say on a recent earnings call. The data is that there's zero cord cutting. Um, we're at a hundred million on a year-over-year -year basis and Q2 goes down a little bit every year as students move, but it's the same as Q2 last year. So uh, right now there's zero cord cutting. Um, the question is, well, will that last? Um, and it really depends on does cable continue to get better. Uh, cable is taking share from satellite. Um, fiber, you know, is growing a little bit too. So, you know, there's some important and interesting secular moves in that. But in general, um, consumers are getting a lot of content on cable, and that's doing well for them. And our market has not been the cord cutter market. Netflix says there's no rising trend in cord cutters, though other analysts disagree. Those cable cutters and a younger generation of cord nevers could ultimately force the industry to rethink its business model. How do you know if dropping cable TV is right for you and how would you go about actually doing that and replacing cable, uh, cable subscriptions? Here with a look. At the numbers is Afsal Bari. He's a senior technology analyst with Bloomberg Government. Also here is Jennifer Jolly, joins us via Skype. She's an award-winning tech correspondent for USA Today. Also, I'm going to start with you, and, and let's look at the numbers. Here you, you've got the Netflix guy saying, oh, there's nothing, there's nothing to see here. Uh, and if you look at what's happened, uh, cable uh, TV subscribers have declined. The first quarter, 487,000 had declined, 394,000 in quarter four of 2012, and then it was uh, 323,000 in quarter one. Uh, and in, in quarter two of 2013, 500, a decline of 591,000. What do you think of these numbers? What's your so I think first it's important to define what cord cutting is, right? So um, a lot of people are using cord cutting as no longer watching paid TV um, through a cable subscription, right? right? Um, but as, as we just heard, you know, you still subscribe to internet, right? So, so if you think about the cable companies as just delivering a pipe to, of content, whether it's internet content or TV, to your homes, those numbers have actually been stable. So, um, so in terms of data subscribers, those have been up over right. the past five years. Those have been up in the order of uh, uh, six, seven percent in the past five years uh, per year in growth. Jennifer, I'm going to go to you on this. How do we, if you're a consumer and you're thinking about becoming like Greg Boone and cutting the cord here, how do you actually go about doing this? Well, the very first thing that you have to do is look at can you live without local news and local sports? Not that you have to live without them if you cut the cable cord, but those are the two biggest considerations right now when you look at cutting that cable cord. One of the things that most people don't realize is a $40 a simple antenna plugged into your TV will deliver the local news and local sports unless there's a blackout. We can get more into sports in a second. Right. But that's really what you have to look at. Can you live without those things? What I'm finding and what our readers are telling us is that, hey, I might have to go onto Amazon or onto Apple TV and or just um, onto iTunes and download my Bravo reality TV, a whole season of it, and pay 20 to $30 for that. But they're saying it's worth it for watching it all without the commercials. And for an okay. Apple in iTunes, you can download those the day after they air, sometimes even the same day that they air. So it's a small price to pay for some people to have instant access, no commercials, and really have everything they want at their fingertips on their mobile devices or in front of the good old fashioned TV set. And we looked at the numbers here. If you do the sort of a la carte viewing, right, and you get Apple TV and maybe you buy a, a DVD of, of Breaking Bad or, or download it from <laughs> iTunes, the combined annual total where you just have the internet would uh, be about $985. You get Netflix, you get Hulu Plus, Amazon Prime, maybe MLB TV, because if you're like my producer, you're crazy about baseball. Uh, and then you'd get that uh, HD antenna. Uh, and in terms of cable, the total would be, if you got a plan here in D.C., about $1,200. That's not a huge difference, right? I mean, $985 uh, versus $1,200. Uh, Absol, how are cable companies responding to this? Um, so a couple of ways. One is uh, the actually 
the prices for internet have gone up as right. well. So so th so as they see people shifting from away from paid TV and still using the pipes that are coming to their homes, the it's prices the for pipes. Other, right? I mean, they're in <laughs> yeah. what eighty six percent of American homes have the pipe uh, cable uh, in their homes in some way, and maybe That's some right. of them just have the internet. Yeah, and, and depending on which metrics you use, um, it's uh, it's over ninety percent. Um, and people aren't necessarily, even though there's been an explosion in mobile, people still want to watch based on their broadband pipe that's coming in, into the home, if they're watching Hulu, if they're watching Netflix. And, and Jennifer, it seems to me that one of the hurdles is I mean, laziness in some ways. I want to be able to go into my uh, living room and sit down and just turn on the TV and flip through the hundred or so channels I have. I don't want to have to worry, oh, what's my passcode to Hulu? What about Netflix? Is my oh. Apple TV set up? What's your, I mean, what do you make uh, of that? Well, I think most people are going in, sitting on the couch, turning on the old cable, and there's 3,000 channels, and they're still not finding anything right. to watch. Right, yes, yes. So we're getting savvier all the time, and you don't necessarily need all of the various gadgets, you know, right. to watch. So wait, is that, that's, a, that's a Roku there. We There's what? Google Chromecast, $35. 35 bucks, you get okay. all the streaming content. Go online to a site called Can I Stream It? If you can stream it with a $35 gadget, you can stream it onto your TV. That's 35 bucks. It's not 900 over a year. Right. Uh, we've got the Roku 3 right here. Again, $100. Gets you basic access to everything you want. I do and have the Roku. the Apple TV. And that's Apple TV. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So these, I mean, you need this collection of gadgets you, to be able to do this. You need one. You don't need all. Okay. And you don't necessarily even need one, depending on what you like to watch. My folks, they like to watch the evening news. They like to watch uh, American Idol or the, the MLB, the World Series, things like that. Depending on what you go to the TV to watch makes a difference with, with what gadgets you need. Many people are getting by with a $40 antenna to see the things that they want and like to see. Now, for those of us addicted, addicted to Breaking Bad right. or one of the reality shows, you might consider uh, iTunes or, or Netflix or Hulu, something that lets you watch it for a price, but a price that you're willing to pay, A, for not having commercials, and B, for having it any time you want to watch it. So you might only be able to, to sit on your couch and watch TV for 30 minutes every other day. You now have the choice for not a very large amount of money to make that programming uh, very, very customized to you. That's a big deal to a lot yeah. of people wanting to watch TV. And you can check sites like Can I Stream It? And you can see fairly quickly how to get to what you want. And if you follow a few little insider tips and tricks, like I've tried to line out, it's 10 minutes of searching to decide if this is a step you want to take. So, asshole, it does seem like the cable companies might move to this sort of metered model in terms of broadband use. Like if I was to follow Jennifer's advice here and, and cut the cord and, 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 and use Hulu and those sorts of things, uh, that that might be coming. Because if you look at North American broadband use uh, during prime time, 31.6% Netflix, YouTube is 18.7%, uh, and the web is about 10%. So a lot of this is going to, people's use of broadband is going to watching stuff. Yeah, and what, one of the biggest things that will happen over the next few months is uh, is the D.C. Circuit is going to be ruling on a net neutrality ruling, uh, net neutrality case. So Verizon sued um, sued the FCC, and right now under the current law, they can't they can't create. Uh, Fast lanes and slow lanes. They can't discriminate against Netflix. They okay. can't. Um, they, they can't. They can't do certain things to help meter. They they can meter in some ways, but they can't meter in other ways. Um, if the courts overturn that, they'll be able to affect Netflix's uh, ability to stream to everyone's homes. Uh, prices will likely rise for each of these services. So it could have a big impact on cutting the court. So Jennifer. If I want to go home today, I've got this cable bill here. It's $126.13. Uh, I'm ahead on my bill, not behind. Um, <laughs> what, what would I have to do when I got home to become, you know, sort of independent of the cable uh, company? Three things. What would I have to do? 
Well, first, call your cable company. See if there's a way to lower the bill. Tell them, lower this or I'm cutting the cable and see if you can work a deal. That's a great place to start. Okay. Second, look, do a tiny bit of research. I'm talking five to 10 minutes. Check out my articles on it and look at sites like Can I Stream It? Check out a Mohu Leaf antenna. Feel around for what's going to work best for the exact content you want. There is and there are ways to watch sports for free, and I outlined that. You can uh, do that through ESPN, through a mobile app from ESPN. Okay. So see what you're comfortable with. And then the third thing is either online or run out to a store and invest in one, not five, not ten, one gadget that's going to deliver the content that you want and need directly to your home. And there you go. Make sure one one kind of word of warning is make sure that when you do cancel your TV, that your bill doesn't go up for the cost of the internet service right. delivered to your home. That's a sneaky little trick that yes. you need to watch out for. There is no reason in this day and age not to save time, money, and sanity when you're looking at your cable bill. And there is no doubt of among any of us who are watching the industry the way that we do that the way we watch TV, the way we get entertainment in our homes and in our lives is changing dramatically. It really is, yes. And all these companies can do whatever they want and, and you know cry about it all they want, but it is changing and it is changing for the better for us, the viewer. Where does this go, Afsol? What I mean, if you were had a crystal ball here five years, ten years out, I mean, we do have this generation of cord nevers. People who, for instance, I mean, the, the parallel is with the, the landline. People, you know, under 30 or 20 don't even know what a landline is. I mean, is that sort of where things are going? What's your sense? So the big uh, question there is, for household formation. So one of the things we haven't talked about is um, folks who ended up moving back home with their parents, people in their 20s, once they move out and go, if household creation has kind of been stagnant mm -hmm. for the past five years. Once they go out and move, are they gonna get cable subscriptions of their own? Um, so that's one big factor. Another big factor is how this net, um, net neutrality ruling uh, plays out. And then the third is actually uh, Aereo, so one, one company that we haven't talked about yet, um, which allows you, and they're expanding to a lot of different markets, but allows you to, to get the free over the air content okay. um, stream to your devices. Okay, so all of these things already, I, I might try it, we'll see, we'll see. Thank you, Jennifer Jolly. You are a tech contributor and just all around awesome lady, host of USA Today's digital video show, Tech Now. We'll check it out. And Afsal Bari, senior technology analyst at Bloomberg Gov. Thank you guys so much. Our postback community has been weighing in on cord cutting, and we want to hear from you. Tweet us at background or tweet me at Nia Wapo. We want to try, if you want to try cutting the cord, step one, watch on background right here on Post TV. We'll see you right back here next time.